All right. Um, I'm going to show y'all how to uh, rewire reason into Sonar. This is Sonar 6. A lot of people don't use it, but it's easy to use. And um, I don't ever get any crashes or anything like that. So it's good, you know what I mean? Alright, first of all, you want to go up here, synth rack, click on that, click this plus sign, rewire devices. This is where all your VSTs will be right here in soft synth. You know what I mean? Go in here to rewire reason. Now these are the default settings. You can change these, but I leave them how they are. Bam! There you go. Click on this. Oh, you might have to double click. Yeah, there we go. And reason should load up. And you see right over here. Minimize it. Reason. Um, the default for Sonar 6 when you uh, do the uh, either any kind of synth or rewire it automatically creates a folder so you can organize your stuff you know what I mean this is the main output for uh, every instrument that's going to be coming out of Reason Alright, let's see if Reason's done yet. Okay, now, one important thing that you have to remember uh, to do is go here to Edit, Preferences, here in Reason. Go to MIDI. By the way, I'm using the Edera PCR MIDI controller. But yeah, go here to MIDI and for each bus select your MIDI in this is gonna allow you to have more instruments and in whatever sequencer you use <clears throat> say for instance if you just have this one for bus A you would only be able to get 16 instruments so each one of these allows you to get 16 instruments and uh, what I usually do is when I rewire reason into a sequencer I don't use a combinator because each device that you use is considered an instrument so if you load up a compressor it's going to be considered uh, to be an instrument so what I do is I say create a device So I just go here, let's just go to reason, and I'll pick one of these that I know isn't a combinator patch. So let's say NN19. piano as you can see like in my other tutorials I have a template file and what the template file does is um, it sets up my reason for every time I start a new project it'll already have a compressor and a reverb for my auxiliaries uh, for one and two and reverb compressor and it already has a redrum set up and I route each channel from the redrum to a single channel in the mixer like so 
and this right here I do this with my kicks and my snares claps whatever I'm gonna do this here makes it to where it plays both channels at the same time for uh, say you got two kicks and you want them to play at the same time you don't have to push two keys you just hit one and it control I have my uh, auxiliary sins right here I have them chained to this mixer the auxiliary sins that way when I um okay so that way I don't have to put another compressor and a reverb on this mixer here it's already it's chained to that one so whenever I use this like say for my piano this compressor I know a lot of y'all use Fruity Loops, and if you don't notice, this here PAX is from Fruity Loops. Uh, all my sounds that I saved in my PAX folder from Fruity Loops, you can use it in Reason. So, I mean, all the sounds that I had, I don't use the Fruity Loops sounds, of course, because they whack. You know what I'm saying, but all the sounds that I got off the internet, all the sounds that I bought from websites, I have them here. Well, I don't have to find it every time, you know. I want to use one of the sounds from here, so. Um. Roll that up. And I got this sound here. This is uh, some strings. I got them fast strings off of www.warbeats.com. You can uh, sign up, get a membership, and you can get a, you can download different sounds for free. People post up sounds. Uh, let's name this strings. Um, let's see, let's say this. Uh, rewire. The reason why I uh, unhighlighted that right there is because when I come over here in sonar if I have it highlighted still it'll play so but when you go to record it's not gonna be recording that because I haven't routed it yet so I need to turn that off see I'm pushing keys nothing okay now over here in sonar let's see Okay, let me just explain sonar right quick. You can do everything right here. Or you can click, you can do everything over here. You can add effects right here. This is your volume. You can do it right here. This is your pan. Pan. Actually, this here is the uh, trim. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is the input. So you want to specify your uh, MIDI. <clears throat> see. I got Fast Track Pro. All right, that's my MIDI in, and this is the output. It outputs to Reason channel. See, these are your devices in Reason, and that's the um, that's why it's important to name your devices so you can know what's what. My piano, my strings. You see how you got reverb, compressor, redrum, all that is basically taking up the first uh, auxiliary since you have a limit of four. So, and each auxiliary gets 16 instruments. So, that's why I said use uh, instruments that's not combined. And then you can just add effects in your sequencer. So, you pick piano. All right. I'm gonna do something simple, you know. I ain't trying to make no beat to sell or nothing. It's just showing y'all how to rewire. So I'm gonna record something, lay something down. 